In this quick lesson, I'm going to show you how to use the Step and Repeat tab from the Step and Repeat and Array tools from within the Design Center. So here we have this star-shaped object and we want to take a copy of this and repeat it, take another copy and repeat it as many times as we like. Now to do that we need to set the quantity, which we do here, and as you can see it automatically offsets it by the object's current horizontal width and its vertical height. But I can adjust that to suit whatever I like. So for example, if I turn the vertical to say 0 inches, like so, you'll see that it will only step and repeat along the horizontal axis because I've set vertical to 0. Now if I reverse that and make the horizontal 0 and the vertical 5, it'll now just step and repeat along the vertical axis. Now by adjusting these uh, numbers in here, I can make it overlap and go in at any sort of angle I like. So you can experiment with that and try different settings when you're stepping and repeating a particular object to achieve an effect that you're actually particularly looking for. Just simply uh, hit these up and down arrows and you can adjust and you'll see a real-time preview on the screen like so. Now there's a direct relationship obviously between the offset and the intercopy spacing. When you're ready you click apply and as you can see what I've set in the uh, step and repeat is automatically applied and it creates independent objects of the original and a perfect copy of them. I can also create a clone of the copies. So I go back here, I click preview and it will just apply what I, the settings I used before. But this time I check as apply as clones and I click apply. And now the repeated uh, star shapes are clones and you can see that by the, uh, the X going through the box there. So for example if I change the uh, colour of this particular star to purple, they all change. If I rotate it, they all change. So that's how you take an object and you step and repeat it using these tools. Um, and you can experiment, as I said before, about the horizontal and vertical offsets to get different effects and so on. And that's the end of this lesson.